Hello everybody, welcome to this new video. Today I will be showing you guys how I make my people playground videos. This is pretty simple and it shouldn't be too long of a tutorial. As long as you follow the steps correctly, you will be making good people playground videos in no time. The first thing I like to do here is I spawn in the characters or I set up a scene. So I will just get a table or something. I'm not gonna set up a whole scene. But yeah, so I set up a scene. As you could tell, there aren't any highlights. Um, how I do that is with the new 1.12 update, if you go to any older version or you've pirated the game, you will not have this option. So I would probably recommend buying the game before you make videos with it. As you could tell, there is show selection slash freezing outlines and it will just uh, toggle if they're on. Then it will show the annoying green outline. And if they're off, yeah, it makes it just look more like it doesn't show up. They just recently added this, so you won't see that in my older videos. You will only see it in my newer videos whenever I upload. You will see that there is no more green annoying line. So you can now make good scenes. Another feature that I really recommend you doing, otherwise your videos will probably not be good, is press tab. It will just make the two sidebars disappear, which will make it look more professional and make it look more clean, because otherwise you're going to have these distracting things, which are very annoying. Very annoying. So you see this little corner where it shows the little two icons? Recently, there was a mod created to get rid of those. It's called the photo mode. I will leave it in the description for you to download or the comments. And you basically just press P and it will make it disappear. If you look at my older videos, I used to just zoom in with my video editor, but now you can just remove it like that. And it will just look really good. A question I get asked a lot is how to remove cursor from your game capture. And what you want to do here is go to your game capture and uncheck capture cursor and then press ok this will cause it to not show your cursor when you are making your video use obs it's free recording software another question i get asked a lot is in the video editor um i usually do something like a smooth pan which just basically looks smoother and they're like how do you make the movement of the camera smooth where it just looks like that. It's pretty simple. I use Vegas, so yours will be different. Um, but yeah, I go to event pan and crop if you use the same one. And then after I just kind of add a keyframe and it changed the position and then we'll just animate towards it like that. I know, pretty cool. Okay, so another thing you have to do is the text boxes right click inside of vegas if you have it and you press insert text media and you type whatever hello there you just add that you could resize it and then put it above the head or something and then you could go to your text to speech site um i use tts mp3 because another people playground youtuber showed me it doompy I'm not sure if I said his name correctly. I think I did. It seems pretty simple to say. And then you're going to want to type in whatever the character says. Or this is what I started doing. Because a lot of people like having the subtitles. But I also like having text-to-speech. Um, so I just went. Hello there. It just kind of looks better. You know? Hello there. Normally I would animate the character to look like he's actually moving his arm to, to what they're saying. But in this case, it's a tutorial, so I'm just using random pieces of footage and showing you how I edit. If this video helped you guys out, let me know and subscribe and like. I interact with your guys' comments all the time, so yeah, make sure you comment.